Hello and welcome back to part 17 of our playthrough of Songs of Six in the great city of Four Men Lore, which is really starting to expand quite nicely now. Now, where we left off, we were having a bit of a reforge of most of our uh, research district, where we were transforming it into a grand city of marble, not just of stone. Uh, we're running into a little bit of supply issue with our masonry, which we could upgrade in a bit, but I think I want to try and get this done first before we uh, get rid of it, because we do need the stone for other things as well. Let's carry on. So, as things are going, we're going okay. We now actually have over a thousand population, which is quite exciting. It does show that we are actually expanding quite a bit. And with our increased uh, nurseries, that should continue to go on for the future. The other great thing that we were doing is we finally got up and above our required amount of bakeries. And look at our amount of coal. That coal mine, the charcoal, are really starting to work together for us to really level up our industry. Now, as it goes for our military, we have a couple of shields that we're making. We've currently got our warhammers, which is good, don't get me wrong. I like the fact we have warhammers, but we can supply them with those shields, so we will probably need a second squad at some point. Also, on top of that, if we have a little bit of a look out at the world map, we do have this uh, freelance area over here with only 235 people. We don't know how many uh, militia they have, because we don't have anything to say about that. Same with uh, Kenneth. So we might want to actually start to think about getting some emissaries at some point. But then again, that's maybe something for the future. Even if we think about just building up a little embassy, that would be a potential good thing to do. The real question is where we're going to put it, because the city is kind of getting a little bit sprawling at the moment. Still not technically a city, but we are certainly getting there. And it would be quite good to just kind of keep on building up. How is our tavern doing? So we can see that lots of people are going here. We could upgrade it. We don't have enough pottery, unfortunately. It would be nice to get the upgrade so we get some more services out. As far as people go for happiness, they seem to be pretty much okay, actually. Uh, lots of the humans are saying they're not getting enough in the taverns, which is true. And a little bit of a shame, but, uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they can work. It's fine. Sure, we've stopped you from having drinks, and there's not enough drinks. We do need more brewers, which we could potentially do now that we have more coal, but we're kind of a little bit running, running low on pottery. How is our clay pit doing over here? We've only got the five clay diggers. At least they are digging out a little bit of it. This warehouse over here, we will actually get it to start also storing clay, just so they don't have to run quite as far in order to uh, deposit all the clay. Because you can see here, they've actually got a lot of clay over here. Yeah, there we go. Start picking that up, bring that across. That'd be really good. How are our pastures doing? Our pastures, last seen, we're doing okay. They're getting about halfway in terms of their animals. We've got a decent amount of uh, money as well that we can use. And we'll probably use more of it as we get more workers. We do actually have a slight surplus now at the moment, which is good. I think we'll kind of hold off on them. And you know what? Why don't we just build an embassy? We might as well. We do also need to build another dungeon. So yeah, let's just copy this dungeon. We'll build it up over here near the mines. Kind of makes uh, thematic sense. The dungeon would be up here. It's going to cost us a bunch of metal, but we are making metal. We're not having issues with our coal anymore. Um, and it's more just to do with the amount of metal smelters that we have. Just take a couple of people to work over here it means that our law should go up as well, make people happier. Currently our law is actually at 100%, so we're doing pretty well, even though we are a little bit uh, full on our imprisonment. We're saying that we want to imprison a lot more people. We are obviously making all of our Cretonian slaves, but you can see here that we actually have 14 people that need to be sent to the dungeons. Some of them will be sent to stockades, which will help out a little bit, but we'll need to get that sorted out where we can. But yeah, overall things are going pretty well. Our food stockpiles are looking good. We're running through our grain pretty quick, but with our newly irrigated farms, we should be getting a much better return out of them as well. This fruit orchard here is being an absolute godsend, it must be said. Even though it hasn't even had all of its trees actually grown, the fact that we're getting uh, this much fruit from it is fantastic. And it looks like we're having a little bit of a harvest too. Our furniture stockpiles are a little bit low which does make me slightly concerned. We could potentially increase the amount of stuff we're getting with our carpenter. This upgrade just requires far too much metal for the moment. So we will not be doing that. So let's instead, let's try and refurnish it. We'll see if we can get some more workbenches in because they will not cost anything. There we go. Does lower the efficiency ever so slightly so we can just build up. Eight, can we get it up to 100? There we go, perfect. 
We could even potentially think about building up some workbenches up the top here, which I don't think would be too bad of an idea. Because we can just fit in a nice little... There you go. Perfect. Gonna cost a little bit of wood, cost a little bit of stone, but will let us uh, have a bunch more employees. And we can see here that our number of people available has absolutely skyrocketed, but that's just because they're no longer working in the carpenter station. We'll do this, we'll get this back up. I think part of it could also be that we don't have quite enough wood, even though we've got a bunch of wood carts here, and we could have a whole bunch more. Uh, they might just be struggling to actually get wood over there. In that kind of respect, maybe we should actually just build a, ourselves a little hauler. And I didn't actually build a door here, so let's build a door there. After all that time me saying, oh yeah, build doors here for the haulers, we'll build one there now. Yeah, perfect. It will mean that their entire construction needs to be reset, but that's fine. They can just quickly do that. We have the stone, we have the wood. And our wood should actually go up quite a bit because we're not, uh... We're not using quite as much. We'll build a nice little hauler here. This can be hauling wood. And it can be hauling it nearby the carpenter's office so that it can, uh... It can use the wood that we're going to get. Just kind of make it sure that our carpenters here aren't using up too much of their time running to actually grab the wood from the storages just because it can take some time. There we go, so we'll get the wood, and we'll just grab it from... Which warehouse would be best to grab it from? I think probably just this one over here, because I think that's still the one that's there. We maybe want to actually uh, grab another warehouse over here, just so we can just store the wood a little bit better, and we can set that up there. How are we doing here? Yeah, you're saying here that there's nothing really to haul from that. I guess we're actually just storing most of it over here. Indeed, it seems we might be. So, let's... Do what we were just saying, and let's build ourselves another war warehouse over here. We can store our meat here. We can store our wood here. Will cost us a little bit in terms of the various raw goods, as well as some pottery, just because it is an upgraded one, which is a little bit of a shame, but uh, we should be fine. These guys over here are obviously just not doing particularly much. We'll maybe actually just increase the radius as well for where they can grab stuff, just so they can bring it a little bit closer for us to use. Yeah, we're saying we're mostly just low on wood at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. Never mind, there's nothing we can do about that. We're just going to increase the amount of raw resources that we're using. How's our hospital doing? The hospital's doing okay. Should have a bunch of opium available. Should have a bunch of fabric available to use that. And how is our dungeon? Our dungeon is good. Okay, another accident has occurred. That happened in the charcoaler. Ooh, that's not, that's not a good one. Don't stand in the fire, boys. So that would be my advice anyway. Yeah, so we need some furniture in order to continue this going, which we're just needing the wood for just now. We'll slowly get that up. We might speed that up ever so slightly by just telling our farmers, hey, just cut all these trees over here, just get them down. Just when you get a second. We don't really have the odd jobbers to kind of do that outside of our farm workers, but we're slowly and surely getting our population up, which is good. And that's even with our dungeon being used as well. We do need to think about courts as well at some point. But for now, I think we're okay. Our amount of stone is going down quite rapidly, but I think that's because we're using a whole bunch of it. Yeah, we use a whole bunch of it for the stone over here. We just need to get the last of the furniture together. We need to get the last of the marble together. And then everything should be looking pretty nice. Uh, speaking of stone, let's also make sure that we're building up our road infrastructure. Just to keep people happy. So we want to make sure that's paved stone because that makes our humans very, very happy. And we'll just build it up across here. And then we'll do the same across here. There we go. Get some nice little alleyways going. On top of a nice little street there. We'll be using up a lot of our resources, but that's absolutely fine. And would you look at that? Our wood stockpiles are growing massively. And our haulers starting to haul the wood over as well. Yep, yeah, with this much coal, our bakeries are going pretty well. We should maybe also think about hauling over things like iron and such. These metal smelters here... We could almost, now the pastures are gone, which we're blocking them, we could make this a larger one. Maybe even put doors in these walls here. I think that could be a good idea. Just kind of join them up so they're one large smelter rather than two little ones. Maybe we'll wait until we have a little bit more uh, workers before we do that. And what was the other thing we were going to do? Ah, yeah, of course, we were going to build a embassy just so we can get some uh, foreign dignitaries going out. As for the foreign embassy, I think... I mean, it does not make that much sense, but maybe just kind of over here is fine. It's near enough that sort of central area in our 
uh, in our town that I think it should be okay. If we get like maybe 10 people, we can get some knickknacks as well, just to improve their efficiency. And we'll get some carpets because we have far more woven cloth than we have anything else. There we go. Lovely bit of efficiency there. And we'll just build a nice entrance there. Good stuff. Okay, it's going to take a bunch more of our polished stone, unfortunately. Ah, but here we go. So this is done. We do need to redo a lot of these things where uh, we maybe don't want to store this many rations. We're going to store meat. We're not so bothered about fish here. The bread we can definitely store. That's fine. Uh, maybe store a little bit of booze. We want to store more wood if available. Good stuff. And we'll also tell our hauler to come over here and grab the wood from this warehouse over here. Like so. So they'll come over here. They can grab stuff here. There shouldn't be that much stuff that's kind of around here, but there should be a bunch of meat we can at least grab. And having a look at our grain stockpiles, our grain stockpiles are dwindling, so we might even need to get more grain farms. Which isn't a bad thing. There's certainly nothing wrong with having more grain farms. In fact, it's probably quite a good thing. It shows that we're uh, we're using up our grain stockpiles where we weren't really doing that before. Unfortunately, how are we doing over here? Let's upgrade these pumps. Let's get some extra people ready to work. How are we doing with these pumps over here? Yep, you're four, you're four, you're four, you're four, four. Cool. Just reduce the number of workers that we need in order to keep our agriculture area going. And how are we doing over here? So it looks like we've got a whole bunch of guys in this warehouse here. Yeah, probably just because we've got so much stuff situated by it. That's fine. They're just going around grabbing stuff. Another big warehouse certainly won't hurt. That's the main thing. Ah, oh, look at that coal stockpile. Fantastic. A little bit concerned about our lack of vegetables. Vegetables is another food that we will need more of, it seems. Uh, we do have the money to import it, but don't know if we actually are. Right, now we need to have a little think about what we're going to be doing with our field system from now, because we've kind of used up the majority of the land kind of over here that we were saying we were going to use. Is it time to start coming over to the other side of the river? That is the question, because coming out along here, we could also move up further along this coastline here as well. It's just kind of areas like here have really nice kind of like nestled coasts with really high fertility. You can see here this has 100% fertility really good for growing things. It's one of the reasons why we put our apple orchard where we did. So we'll have to think about how we want to get more vegetables. I think we can get rid of this cotton farm. We'll do it after uh, the harvests are done. Hopefully our uh, Cretonian babies will not starve. People will not be very happy if that happens, I'll tell you that much. How are we doing over here with a coal mine? We're doing fine. We can maybe actually bump down the amount of coal miners here, given that we seem to be having a slight deficit of workers. I imagine that has something to do with the amount of people that we have in the other warehouse and the fact that we've also got this larger uh, carpentry area as well. But we should be getting more and more of our guys up sooner rather than later. I, I do actually dislike the fact that you guys have this many workers. Let's just kind of like lower that slightly. I don't think we... This isn't as big of a, a warehouse as the other one. It's mostly just here for uh, your sort of raw materials. In fact, is there a way that we can... Yes, yeah, so we've got a hauler over there. That's assigned to it. That's fine. We don't really want to fetch anything to it, but we could tell our other warehouse, hey, you know what? No, not you. There we go. Let's tell them to just pull uh, goods from this warehouse here. We're using this warehouse just as a, uh, a stopgap, just so we can... Oh, there was more. Another accident. Oh, God. Oh, there's a cave-in. People are dead. Not great. Hey, some free clothes. At least somebody can get there. Not ideal. Yeah, the accident rate is getting a little bit high. We're actually running out of food quite considerably. I wonder if it's because we haven't got our, our, our imports in just quite yet. Still have a lot of rations, but we are out of our grain. That seems to be our major kind of issue, is that we've actually gone through all, all of our grain stockpiles. So getting that other grain farm up is going to be very, very important to us. A little bit worrying, but given we have so many people, it's understandable. At least we have a lot of rations, so we do still have food days. People will eat the rations if they need to. This embassy does require jewellery, so we are going to need to import some more jewellery. I forgot about that. I thought we already had a... We seem to have... 
a gems import, but we don't have a jewelry import, so that's what the issue is. Okay, let's build ourselves another import depot. We could build it there, but it'll start to obstruct things, so we'll just build that there next to the, uh, the lavatory. And we will start importing just a little bit of uh, jewelry. So let's make sure as well. We're not using all of our crates, so yep, yeah, we'll just add in some jewelry there. Once that is built, which we are kind of out of stone a little bit, which is a little bit worrying. I wonder if there's anywhere we can kind of grab some some free rocks kind of just around where our populations works. Over here would be a good one. Yep, yeah, there we go. People are just going to grab those. Over by the mountains, at least, there's lots of rock. So we can at least kind of shore up our supplies there. There we go. So the harvests are starting to come in now. Fantastic. We'll wait for this cotton farm to finish up its harvest. And then we'll replace it. And we'll probably start replacing it with more of these larger farms here. Get some more irrigation systems coming up. We'll leave a gap here for this uh, kind of walkway over here. Let's double check that we've actually upgraded. We still haven't finished this fishery. Come on, guys. What are you doing? What are you playing at? Let's, uh, now that we actually have the workers, let's get a workstation up over here. And we'll get ourselves a bunch of guys over here. They can clear that out pretty quick. Yeah, there we go. Increase the radius. That should be good enough. They should clear that out nicely and quickly. And then we can get to fishing some more stuff. We should maybe also think about upgrading these kind of areas over here. We'll upgrade this well over here so people are a bit happier. Upgrade this market stall. Upgrade the food stall. Just to keep people over here happy. A lot of them seem to just be workers. How are we doing for our housing? Housing still doing okay. And just like that, we've managed to finish up our fishery. Good stuff. All right, you guys can go away. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, if our furniture makers can actually get to work making some furniture, that would be fantastic. And we've managed to finish up our import depot as well. We'll grab some jewellery. Uh, we don't need too much. It's very expensive. Jewellery is the only bad thing about it. Very, very, very expensive. But, as soon as we can get that, we could also think about researching jewellery. We do have a lot of research. In fact, we have enough research that we could unlock libraries. Which I do not think is a bad idea. Because you can see that we've allocated four, nearly 15,000 uh, research points. If we get a library, that will mean that we get much more research points as well. I think we just go for it. Yeah, let's do that. Build a library. That's going to be our first port of call. Is to build ourselves a library. We can kind of build it along here. Over by the research area. Where these kind of houses sit there. Perfect. So it's going to take a lot of, uh, unfortunately, furniture. Which we don't have that much of. How much efficiency can we get? Not much. Let's try and boost up with some carpets. Let's make the place look nice. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nearly 100% efficiency. Hopefully we can continue that going. Get it nice and carpeted. There we go. I'll just do one there because it looks nice. And we'll build uh, an entrance on either side as well as not there, there, and there. Perfect. So people can get all the way around. Good stuff. Now, as for the outside, we do not want this to be made out of mud. We prefer for it to be made out of stone. Thank you very much. It would be quite bad if the library was just sitting there made out of mud. Oh, another accident's happened. What happened now? Oh, people are dead. Not ideal. Let's have a little bit of a look at what we can do about that. If we can get work safety, it doesn't cost us very much in terms of research points. I think we just get that up to level 5. The, uh, the amount of accidents we're having is very, very high. People are quite accident prone, it does seem. So reducing that would be a good thing. Okay, this cotton farm is done, so let's get rid of that. We need to think about increasing our amount of vegetable farms. There we go. Copy you over. Boom. There we go. That vegetable farm will go down. We've got the uh, stockpiles for, for just now, so we'll keep that going. And I think, you know what, we'll just get another grain farm as well. We might as well. We have the people for it. We'll do that. We can get another uh, water pump as well. Just so we can start to get some more water. So let's go. We can probably get two here, actually. That'd be good. Yep. And then we'll build our canals up and over. Connect them up. And then come over here. Another accident. Oh my goodness. Everybody, can you just stop dying? What's going on? It's a lot of people that are being injured and it's 
It's good, but I mean, I guess the, the worst thing about it isn't that we're losing workforce, it's costing me money. Opium doesn't grow on trees, at least I don't think it does. It's all poppies, isn't it? It's all flowers. Yeah, that costs me money. So, if you guys can just stop dying, that would be preferable. Okay, let's get these farms built up. We should have... I mean, I was going to say we should have the workers. It seems our number of workers has gone down quite considerably, but at least we have this grain farm up here. Working away, we've got a bunch of wood that's being laid down there. And we've got a little bit of a stone surplus too. So, we just got to wait for our population to get back up after all of these accidents. Uh, and it's also going to go down after we finish up this library construction. Which, fortunately, we are at least making uh, furniture pretty quickly. That has to be said. So we're actually getting through it pretty quick. Still not wanting to really upgrade that, because that is going to cost us an awful lot of metal. But uh, we'll wonder about that in a little bit. These fishermen over here are making actually a decent amount of fish. I think when we get that upgraded, that'll be pretty good. I mean, obviously, it's nothing in comparison to this little fisher here. I mean, that's a bigger one. Maybe once it's upgraded, it'll be a little bit better. But we'll just have to see. How many people are working in the embassy? A few. Uh, we can maybe actually say to not consume jewellery for just now. And just have the 10 people there. I think that should be fine. Let's have a little look at the world. So, can we send an emissary? I know that's the support. How do we send our emissaries again? It's been a while. Maybe we'll just send one to Kenis instead. There we go. We've got two assigned envoys, so we'll send maybe just the one envoy there, and we'll send the one em emissary there. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the two out. So we've got the one guy over here, we've got the one guy over here. I mean, we're not so worried about Kenis. Kenis has quite good relations with us, so let's maybe instead send them both to Hiken Ridge. With Hiken Ridge, we can get some more uh, ideas about their population. You can see there's not that many of them, mostly Dandorians. We'll see what their army's like, and then what kind of militia that we can bring to bear against them. If our people stop dying in accidents, that'd be preferable. But we'll see what we can bring to bear against them, and hopefully we'll be able to take them over and make them into a vassal state. So we can start to expand the great empire of Formenlord, not just the city. Okay, so there we go. We've got our library done. We're needing a lot of workers, unfortunately. Uh, we can maybe actually just cut back ever so slightly a number of woodcutters. I think us free chopping has helped quite a bit. Same with our coal. Our coal's doing pretty well. We'll bring back our coal miners. Those accidents have really done a number on our available workers and that and obviously like deaths and the fact that we're expanding as well has, uh, has made a little bit of a difference. We can't upgrade this because we don't have advanced library. That's fine. But we should start to see our research points going up quite considerably because we've got our laboratories. We have obviously got a lot allocated, but the amount that we're having to uh, to use should be or the amount that we're having to uh, use to hold the information should be reduced by the library. Which will be good for us. Now, as well, do we have any more noble things? Indeed we do. Indeed we do. Now, we've already got Master of the Farms. We've got University Headmaster. And we've got this one, which I'm not going to say. What else could we do? I think we get a Master of Livestock. There we go. Excellent. We'll need to build another thing for those guys. Uh, and we don't have any more noble stasis. So there we go. Perfect. We've got another noble. And that will also make our pastures far more efficient as well. The pastures being more efficient is doubly good because not only will it increase the number of animals that we get out of them, but it'll just also increase the amount of resources we get out of them as well. Anything to increase the amount of goodness that we get. Speaking of goodness that we get, we should maybe think about implementing more for our agriculture as well. This is pretty expensive. Do we just go for edible crops? I think we do, just because we want to get more uh, good crops. Do we go for the grain? It's pretty cheap in comparison. So I think we get a couple level of that. We're very, very, very uh, 
in on the grain and we'll get that there we go boom hopefully that's not going to put us in a research deficit it is not our research is leaping up even if we are down 50 workers but we'll worry about that later I wonder if part of that is to do with housing housing looks okay ish but i wonder if we just make a grand apartment area over here that can just come on in next door i feel like this area will need some more amenities as well so maybe we want to grab another food stall here uh this could actually it could be quite nice to kind of do it up the back of these houses here so yeah, we'll get, we've got another food stall. We need another market, which we will build as well. So let's get a market too. I'm going to build it in the same kind of style. We'll get a kind of bigger market as well, like so. Perfect. And then we can actually build a fairly large uh, lavatory too, because I imagine these guys need a pretty big lavatory. They're pooing all the time, unfortunately. And then we can just build that. Let's actually build that up to the size of one of the houses. Like so. We can add in some more houses as well. Build a bunch of latrines. Build these up the corner there. And we'll get some basins too. There we go. Not completely efficient. There we go. Nice bunch of basins. Make the door over by the basin so everybody washes their hands, please. The less disease, the better, thank you. And we should be getting good to go. How are we doing over here? So our grain farms over here are done. Our vegetable farm over here is done as well. Next uh, cycle, we'll get rid of this fruit farm, this grain farm. We'll just replace that with uh, uh, probably another vegetable, another grain. Because we're already out of vegetables. We're coming through our vegetables so hard. Like we're just eating them all up. I realize what I just said there. Please be quiet. Uh, <laughs> there you go. That's that's the that's the way to uh, make sure people are still awake. Say something like that, and then see who calls you out. And yeah, it's uh, we'll move past that. We'll build up our little area over here. Get some nice uh, stone roads here. We'll kind of expand this out, and then over here we could probably build some nice kind of things, some decorations. What can we? We can't get statues yet, but we could get some uh, flower beds for harmony. We could just get some benches as well. If people can just hang out over here, kind of up by their house. There we go. We'll get a nice little flower as well. Perfect. Yeah, that looks good to me. And then we can build up the kind of areas over here. Let's make sure we don't have the pottery to upgrade this. We don't have the pottery to upgrade that, unfortunately. Hopefully we will get the pottery back. I guess it's because we're running out of money. We're using a lot more imports. So our clay we're having to use a lot more of. We were doing okay for workers. But then we expanded and a bunch of people died. That did not help matters. But we did expand. We increased our amount of fish. Which is good. We do need more furniture. I wonder if we start taking away a little bit more. Now that we have uh, access to better services. We take away a little bit of furniture from our people. We'll make them a little bit unhappy. But I think we can deal with that. Same with the Dundorians. Let's take away a little bit of their fabric. Because we do need it. Another accident has occurred. Guys, please stop having accidents. Come on. We even got the research for it. Uh, let's stop giving so much of our pottery away to our Cretonians as well. And as much of our fabric as well. We should get a whole bunch of it back here. And it should reduce our consumption. Increase our exports and make everything happier. Let's get this fishery upgraded. Uh, actually more than the other one very good stuff so yeah having more fish will help us out quite considerably we do probably want to grab another warehouse over here as well just so we can store everything so yeah let's get ourselves just a little warehouse we can store some fish here and that should be good there we go get a couple of crates we just put fish and then make them a little bit smaller and then kind of make them up side there we go. Add in a couple of doors. Good. Good. Good stuff. Yeah, adding that in will at least mean that we can kind of like pull things across. We don't have enough people for our janitors. A little bit worrying. We could also think about building up some stone kind of pathways. Kind of, if we even just get rid of these farms after the harvest, we can then kind of build a lot better road as well. It's been a long time since I actually built a road over here. We can build like a proper little bridge, which would be quite nice. So let's just do that. 
build a nice stone road over here. This could be the bridge kind of crossing or one of the bridge crossings over this kind of area. I was going to say, what, where are we getting all these people from? It's all our farmers. They're just working away. Good stuff. Even built some walls at the side, but it's got even got a little bit of walls there from the bridge. That should be good. That should speed up people going to and from the uh, the main part of the city down to this kind of fishing area. It really, it really is quite just a little bit of a fishing area, which is nice. It's, it's good to have. We'll kind of see how we do f going forward if we want to change that over as we're kind of running out slightly on farm space over here. And part of me is wondering if we do just... We are a little bit low on the number of water pumps. So let us just expand them out ever so slightly because I'm wanting to build up the, the water system just ever so slightly just between this area here. And this way we can just kind of connect them up. That should be fine. Got a fair bit of metal and there were some other pumps that I'd also made so I'll maybe actually upgrade them ever so quickly. Just so... We can get some more workers out. There we go. Get them upgraded. Good stuff. Because, yeah, you can see here there are the amount of water because we've kind of gone for this uh, offshoot. The amount of water in over all of our farms is down ever so slightly, especially our fruit orchard. It does kind of show you how much this irrigation is doing, though, when you think about like when the water goes away and all of a sudden the fertility is going down to 30 th or sorry, 40 over here. Just how much this water is really helping out our uh, our farming area. And we've got some extra houses. Have they already all been picked up? Indeed they have. That kind of shows me that we need more houses around here. But we do have a ni very nice lavatory. So we'll upgrade that. And we also upgrade you. Yes. And you. Yes. Good stuff. Got another food stall over here which needs upgraded. So we will make sure our food stalls are upgraded. Make sure everybody's got a good service as they can. Good stuff. Yep. Looking good. Should be everything upgraded. And that should help our people out. People are starving. And it is our babes, I reckon. Indeed it is. We do not have enough vegetables to feed all our children. This is not good. We are, however, just at a harvest, which is good. But we're also out of fruit. Which means that our human children are starving. And that is what I'm more concerned about. Fortunately, all of these vegetable farms are not coming in. Our grain farm should also be coming in. We have the rations. You can't give babies anything other than what they like to eat. So for us, that means we're basically just stuck on having them eat either vegetables or fruit. Now, we could also think about uh, doing some... Uh, din oh, we can't do the Dendorians, but we can do the Tilapi, sorry. Uh, we could do some more Tilapi in order to start doing that but they do also use fruit which is a little bit annoying do we need to start bringing in a garthemi uh, underclass i don't think so they're so bad at just everything they do i'll buy them as slaves just because slaves are not as costly as normal people but certainly when it comes to actually working i, d I don't like unless you're going for like a garthemi playthrough they're just not worth it you can get really high numbers and it's fun they, they do love meat and you can make a lot of meat but yeah why is our tending so bad? Okay, perfect. Slaves. Who are we going to buy for slaves? We could buy some more humans. I think we do need to spend a little bit of money on even just... Uh, we've got no money at all. We could sell some slaves just to make some money. Mm, no, we'll just leave it for now. Shame. Would have been nice to have a little bit more slaves, but never mind. You know, we'll do with what we can. What is going to be our next big thing? So we could get tombs. It's always an option. We could get universities. That's another option. Increase our amount of paper. We could start making our own jewellery for export. We do have access to gems, but we don't really have the people right now. As always. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I think we just need to focus more on our food sources. We need to make sure that we're getting more and more food. Industrial crop wise, we're not too worried about. Yeah, let's just get some more edible crop optimization for everything. Yeah, we can get it all the way up to level 10. That's going to be a very big increase in the amount that we're getting from our, our farms. The amount that they're producing, we can kind of see here that from the skill, meh. But we're getting a lot from the moisture. 
and our, our skill is pretty good as well. That's from our technology, from our tools, and the species that we've got working from it. So, good stuff. Boys, keep it going. Much bigger harvest. Bigger harvest means more food, which means less starving children, which we do not want. Our trees and our fruit orchard are very slowly kind of getting there. It looks like some of them may have died due to lack of water, which is a bit of a shame. Would be nice if we can get these water pumps built sooner rather than later, lads, especially because we are still running out of people, which seems to be kind of the main, uh, the main theme of this city is that we are just constantly in need of people. We get, we get people, we need more. It's just when people die. Dying to that many accidents was very, very unfortunate in such a short space of time in reality. Let's have a little look at the world. Let's see what we kind of know over here. Still not knowing too much if we got anybody more we can send. We've got two more envoys to send, so we'll send two more just so we can get a little bit more uh, vision over what's kind of going over here. So they've got, according to this, around about 102 soldiers. Thereabouts. So they have got a larger army than we do. Good to know. How about Kennis? Kennis, we're still not sure. Let's actually just send our envoy back from here. We can send them out over here. Oh, we don't have enough envoys. Never mind. Ah, okay, so we can see that they have one army. Another accident, but there's only three people, so that's fine. They've got one army over here with about 37 uh, folk in it. That's good to know. If we can uh, take over a Hekinage, we can at least get some of their uh, their uh, goods coming to us as a bit of a tithe. But we'll have to see. They do have a lot of soldiers. There's a lot of people that they can have uh, up in their militia. More than we currently field. Anyway, we'll put it that way. Speaking of currently fielding, I am wondering if I maybe just say to these guys, hey, uh, let's just not worry about training. Let's maybe just say you guys have no soldiers target. We are in desperate need for, for workers at the moment. So you guys just go stop training. Just go back into the workforce, work full time. At least for the moment, we do desperately need to, to get more people. Our furniture is looking good. So that is good. Maybe we can actually reduce the number of carpenters for now. I know we did that big expansion at the start of the episode, but we just need the workers for just now. I meant a leather armor we have is pretty nice. This charcoaler does not need to run anymore, I don't think. We'll see how that goes, and we'll keep a little eye on it. If charcoal starts to go down, we can always send people back over. But we just desperately need more people to just work everything at the moment. We need more bread. We need more fish. We need more hauled goods. We need our bakery to continue to work. There's insufficient workers allocated in the bakery, apparently. Yeah, that's true. We can get another upgrade because we need to get uh, machinery for that. So that'll be something we have to worry about for another time. And speaking of another time, I think it's probably a good place to end the episode. Pretty successful uh, going. You know, we built the bridge. We've managed to expand out over here. We expanded out our farming infrastructure quite a bit. And we're just making sure that we're getting the rest of it all cleared up. As far as our food storage is going, only four days, a little bit worrying, but we had a big population boom, and then we're definitely over a thousand now. And we're sending out envoys to our neighbors to scout on them a little bit, spy on them a little bit, get them used to the idea of our rule, where we'll be expanding out from here. So, just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what we do and you want to become one of the nobles here, leave a comment down below in one of the videos, and we'll try and get you in as soon as we can. Otherwise, just want to say thank you to everybody who's joined the Burger Band, very much appreciate it. It's been a bit wowing to see how many people are supporting the channel. Love all of you. Fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, all of your support. It's been, been very humbling. Uh, I just want to say most importantly to everybody else who isn't part of the Burger Band who's just watching, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, take care.